Formation of Silk Fiber Silk is very important natural fiber. It is soft, lustrous, elastic and strong. You will be surprised to hear that yarn produced by them is much stronger than a steel wire of similar thickness. More importantly, it can be colored very easily. There are different varieties of silk of which Mulberry, Ari, Tassar and Muga silk are of commercial importance. Most commercial silk is Mulberry silk which is very fine white fiber. Silk fibers are obtained from cocoon of silkworm. Let's understand the life of silkworm and how cocoon is formed by them. A female silk moth lay hundreds of eggs at a time. Let's talk about one of the egg. When the young organism growing in the egg reaches to the larva stage, it comes out of the egg. Now, the organism is known as caterpillar or also called silkworm. The silkworm feeds on the leaves of mulberry plant. When it grows and is ready to enter in the next stage of life cycle called pupa, it starts weaving a net around itself. It then swings its head from side to side forming a shape of eight. While doing so, the silkworm secretes a protein which on exposure to air becomes hard. This is the silk fiber. Silkworm covers itself completely and enters in the next stage of its life cycle called pupa. The covering so formed is called cocoon. Inside the cocoon, the pupa grows and becomes a moth. The silk fiber is obtained from cocoon of the silkworm. The rearing of silkworm for obtaining cocoons made of silk fibers is called sericulture. Here we complete this topic. Thanks for watching this video. Have a look at the range of courses available in variety of formats only on learnfutafa.com. Your favorite course is waiting for you. Hurry up and get it now.